This summer has been a great advancement for AI in general, as we're seeing newer and better tools being released to create production grade applications with single prompts or even images. We've seen this especially with Claude Dev, as well as with Cursor Composer, which is a feature that can easily enable anyone to build an app quite easily. But today, I have another way for you to build applications with Replit Agent Builder. It's a new AI powered tool by Replit designed to assist users in building software projects. It can understand natural language prompts and help create applications from scratch, making software development more accessible to users of all skill levels. Now, the great thing is you don't just create the front end with Replit Agent, but it also assists in creating the back end for the app as well, which is really useful in my opinion. And this is a great tool that you can actually get started with right away. Now, this is a simple app that was created, and this is a music visualizer app that was created by the Replit agent. And in this case, it can understand a song by simply uploading the song. And once you hit play, the visualizer begins and you can adjust this color scheme as it plays. And this way it's gonna be able to track the visualization of the sound of the song that you uploaded. Now here is another demo where someone in just 2 minutes and 43 seconds created a word game. And this is actually quite remarkable as he simply provided the plan and Replit provided another plan back which just needed to be approved by the user and he simply approved the plan and was able to create this beautiful game within that few uh, minutes. And this was something that is quite remarkable because it not only creates the front end of the application but it also creates the back end and you can see this word game that was outputted right now on the screen now those two demos are just one of many and you can see basically all the different outputs of what people have made on the main release of this Replay agent twitter post and in this case you can see that people were able to create 3d platform games you can see that people were able to create a stripe layout page within a single prompt mobile game you're going to be able to see how someone was able to build various sorts of things with various programming languages and this is the capability of this app now before we get started i definitely recommend that you take a look at the patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week now i'm gonna be honest with you right off the bat this isn't open source and it's something that is charged 25 dollars monthly and in my opinion it might not be worth it, but it's definitely a great alternative to Cursor Composer as it's easily able to develop like various backends as well as the front end for you with the help of AI. Now that we have that out of the way, if you're still interested in Replay Agent, take a look at this demo video which will showcase more about the product. Today, AI is so powerful that anyone can write code, but making apps is more than just writing code. You need to be able to set up a development environment, install dependencies, and configure databases. Once you're done with all of that, you need to figure out how to share it with the world. Well, it's time to change that. My name is Amjad Massad. I'm the CEO of Replit, and today we're announcing Replit Agent and Early Access. This is actually a prompt from a TED AI talk I gave about 10 months ago about agents. We didn't have the product back then, but now let's test the real product with the same with the same prompt. Make an app of local landmarks based on my location. The agent uh, presented me with a plan. If this plan is fully editable, um, I just want to add the ability to search. One of the cool things about the progress pane is that you can learn what it's doing. So we don't want this ever to be uh, sort of obscuring uh, what the agent is doing. It should be fully transparent. This could also be a great way to learn how to build things because the agent is sort of explaining itself as it's doing it. So that's the app. Let's see, that's exactly the kind of landmarks I would expect to see in Foster City where we are recording this from. It's awesome. And so here you can give it feedback, you can iterate with it, you can give it more features. But I'll just say, yes, it looks great because it works, it's exactly what I asked for. And now the agent will move to the next step. And the next step uh, is adding search. We spent a lot of time uh, building the plumbing for this. A lot of what the agent is doing is actually doing the same kind of actions that you would do in the IDE. It's editing the code in a similar way that you would edit it. It's installing dependencies using the same tools that we expose to users. So all the UI that you see in, in the replit you know and love 
uh, is exposed to the agent. So the agent is sort of a multiplier user in the same uh, same environment. We're about to deploy it to the cloud. And when we deploy this app, there's there's no difference between what we built here. You don't have to configure a server, you don't have to do any of you don't have to configure a database, all of that is configured for you. When I had this idea, I had it when I was traveling. Uh, and, and that happened on my phone. And actually, I can start the project on my phone. And I can actually finish the project on my phone as well. Anytime you have an idea, it doesn't have to be this fleeting idea. You can just you can just put it into Repl and I'll start making it for you. And then you know we got this initial prototype, but I can also go and browse the code myself. Uh, I can use uh, you know Replit's LLMs, or you can use your favorite LLM. The code is all yours; it's there, um, and um, uh, and you can continue using the agent. You can switch to Replit AI. You can do whatever you want with it. You have full authority over the code that the agent just uh, just created. And there you have it: uh, Replit agent uh, created Repl, configured the Python environment, installed dependencies, wrote the code all in two minutes and we got an app running that we were able to deploy to the cloud and now anyone can use it. So this is Replit Agent. It's available in early access uh, and would love your feedback. Thank you. I've also noticed a lot of people on Twitter and Reddit stating that it's not ideal to pay that much for the output. In this case, someone didn't really like the output as it stopped editing the code directly and started telling me what to change instead. Even claimed to have made changes to the files and it basically never touched it. Eventually, it stopped running the server all together and just turned into a basic chatbot with a bad UI, often repeating itself. Now, this is one of many different comments about this new product. Now, I'm not saying it's horrible, but it might not be ideal for someone to pay $25. But the great thing is, is that it's a free tool, or sorry, not a free tool, but it's a great alternative to many of these free tools because of the ability for it to configure backends as well as frontends, as Replit Agent can take care of both of these aspects. So now that you understand what Replit Agent is capable of, if you are wanting to get started, you're going to need to start off by purchasing the Replit Core plan. You just simply click on Join Replit Core, you create an account with Replit. Once you have done so, you'll be then sent over to this main dashboard where you're going to be able to queue up different prompts to create your application. You can create with Python as well as Node.js. And right now, you just simply paste in and start building after you have inputted your prompts. You can see that there was a local landmark map that was created, a stock analysis app, as well as a waitlist website, and so many others. You can actually view all of these and you can try out these prompts. If you're interested, definitely take a look at the prompt gallery, which will help you get started. But that's basically a gist of what this Replit agent is truly about. In my opinion, as I stated uh, multiple times, I don't think that this is worth it, but it might be something that might interest you if you are a beginner or if you want to basically have your coding capabilities fully automated as this takes care of the front end development as well as the back end for you. But like I mentioned, there are people who are commenting about the capability of this app. So just keep that in mind before you get started. If there was a free trial, I would definitely try that out to see if it is uh, applicable to use. But in my opinion, there is nothing of that sort right now. So definitely see what other people are doing. And there are many notable alternatives like Claude Dev or Cursor Composer, which has a free rate limit. You also have Ader. And there's so many things out there right now that I actually make videos on. And I'll leave all those links in the description below so that you can get started with those different apps. A famous YouTube. In my opinion, there's so many free tools out there right now that you can just easily build with. And it's quite easy to learn and configure with. So if you're interested in those tools, just simply check out these videos on like Cloud Engineer, Cursor, you have Ader, as well as so many other alternatives over here. So with that thought, guys, definitely stay tuned. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon. This is a great way for you to access different subscriptions, joining a private Discord to chat with me, as well as getting uh, consulting. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, take a look at my previous videos. With that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.